Having finished the beta and triangular distributions, this is the last of the distributions covered in this section, and this is the Weibull distribution. The Weibull distribution is another generalization of the exponential distribution. We encountered one of these before. The gamma distribution is a generalization of the exponential, which is to say the exponential is a special case of the gamma when kappa is equal to 1. The Weibull is very popular in reliability and survival analysis, and I'll indicate why at the bottom of this slide. The probability density function for the Weibull distribution, f of x, is kappa lambda the kappa x to the kappa minus 1 e to the minus lambda x raised to the kappa power for x greater than 0. This is one of about eight ways of parametrizing the Weibull distribution. If instead of having lambda times x, we had x divided by lambda, for example, it would still be a Weibull distribution, so not everybody parametrizes it in this fashion. There are two parameters in this distribution, kappa and lambda. Lambda is a positive scale parameter, and kappa is a positive shape parameter. The exponential distribution is a special case when kappa equals 1. That relates to this first bullet here. And notice if you let kappa equals 1, you get 1 times lambda times 1 times e to the minus lambda x. So it just becomes lambda e to the minus lambda x for x greater than 0. And that turns out to be the exponential distribution. So if you put Weibull up here and you want a diagram to relate these two distributions to one another, there is the Weibull distribution. Here is the exponential distribution. The exponential distribution is a special case of the Weibull distribution when kappa is equal to 1. Then there is a second special case, and this is the Raleigh distribution. It is a special case when kappa is equal to 2. So if I draw the, wa the Raleigh down here, it will be a special case when the shape parameter kappa is equal to 2. When you get to kappa values between 3 and 4, the PDF is nearly symmetric and it is bell-shaped, and you will see that on the next slide. Turns out the population mode and the population median are approximately equal or are equal when kappa is approximately 3.26. Now one of the things that makes the Weibull distribution so popular in reliability and survival analysis is it has a closed form cumulative distribution function. Very nice cumulative distribution function compared to for example the gamma distribution. This is very helpful in handling data sets that contain right censored observations. If you ever take a biostatistics class or a reliability class, you will find out about right censoring and the uh, closed form cumulative distribution function is an advantage. Now on the next slide are some pictures of the various shapes that the uh, probability density function can assume for a Weibull random variable. In all of these uh, pictures, we assume that the scale parameter lambda is equal to 1. Well, when the shape parameter kappa is equal to 1, you get that very characteristic shape of the exponential distribution. So that's the special case, which is the exponential. When kappa is equal to 2, that is the Raleigh special case, you get this shape right here. When kappa equals 3, the distribution looks like this. And if you remember from the previous slide, when kappa is between 3 and 4, this distribution looks nearly symmetric. A little bit different out in the two tails, but pretty close. And finally, for a kappa value that is less than 1, and for example, kappa equals 1 half, you get a ver vertical asymptote at 0, and then the probability density function comes down rather quickly because it, of course, has to integrate to 1 just like any of the probability density functions. So that's the look of the probability density function of a Weibull random variable for several different values of the shape parameter kappa.